Good morning, everyone. It's Friday morning, and we're going to read together this morning Proverbs chapter 22. Let's hear God's word. Choose a good reputation over great riches, being held in great esteem as better than silver or gold. The rich and poor have this in common. The Lord made them both. A prudent person foresees danger and takes precautions. The simpleton goes blindly on and suffers the consequences. True humility and fear of the Lord lead to riches, honour and long life. Corrupt people walk a thorny, treacherous road. However values life will avoid it. Direct your children into the right path and when they are older they will not leave it. Just as the rich rule the poor, so the borrower is servant to the lender. Those who plant injustice will harvest disaster and the reign of terror will come to an end. Blessed are those who are generous because they feed the poor. Throw out the mocker and the fighter fighting goes too. Quarrels and insults will disappear. Whoever loves a pure heart and gracious speech will have the king as a friend. The Lord preserves those with knowledge, but he ruins the plans of the treacherous. The lazy person claims there's a lion out there. If I go outside, I might be killed. The mouth of an immoral woman is a dangerous trap. Those who make the Lord angry will fall into it. A youngster's heart is filled with foolishness, but discipline, but physical discipline will drive it far away. A person who gets ahead by oppressing the poor or by showering gifts on the rich will end in poverty. Listen to the words of the wise. Apply your heart to my instructions. For it is good to keep these sayings in your heart and you will always and always ready on your lips. I am teaching you today, yes you, so you will trust in the Lord. I have written 30 sayings for you, filled with advice and knowledge. In this way you may know the truth and take an accurate report to those who sent you. Don't rob the poor just because you can, or exploit the needy in court. For the Lord is their defender, he will ruin anyone who ruins them. Don't befriend angry people, or associate with hot-tempered people, or you will learn to be like them and endanger your soul. Don't agree to guarantee another person's debt or put up security for somebody else. If you can't pay it, even your bed will be snatched from under you. Don't cheat your neighbours by moving the ancient boundary markers set up by previous generations. Do you see truly competent workers? They will serve kings rather than working for ordinary people. Amen. And that is Proverbs chapter 22. One of the verses right at the very start, verse 2 says, The rich and poor have this in common. The Lord made them both. It doesn't matter who we are or what we are or what our position is in life. We are all God's creatures or God's creation. We are all the same that way. And so God wants the same thing for us. And that's what, that same thing is what verse 19 says. I am teaching you today, yes, you. It's personal. So you will trust in the Lord. That's why we have the Bible, is to tell us about God, so that we can learn to trust God. We can learn to have faith in God. Um, we talked on Wednesday night in the Bible study about faith, about how it's so hard at times to have faith and to trust God just wants us to have that simple trust. Do you realise that he, that we can always rely on him? He knows everything about us and he is in control. So a simple message today on a Friday as we head into the weekend. Do we realise that we are all the same? Do we realise it doesn't matter as we look around and as we see people who have lots or people who have little? Everyone has worries. As we look at those who seem to have everything in life and nothing in life. We are all the same. We are all God's creation and God loves every single one of us and he wants all of us to trust him. So today on this Friday, where is your trust? Let's pray as we come before God. Heavenly Father, thank you again for your word this day. Thank you for how you teach us and direct us and guide us because you love us. Lord, you don't see any difference in us other than you simply want us to put our faith in you, to let you into our lives and to follow you. 
Lord, help us to do that and help us to share your word with those around us so that they will do the same thing, that they will open their lives up to you and learn to trust you and have that faith in you. So Lord, thank you and go with us into the weekend, we pray in Christ's name. Amen. Thanks, folks, for joining with me for another day. Um, we're starting to get near the end of Proverbs. I had chosen Proverbs because I thought that would take us to the end of lockdown. But now it's been extended into March. So if you've got any suggestions or anything that you'd like to maybe hear, hear read once we finish Proverbs, please let me know. Drop me a little message on the page or drop me a little text uh, and let me know if you've got anything, any suggestions or anything that you have a burning desire to hear being read and just doing a little thought on each day. But in the meantime, please take care, look after yourselves, be safe, have a good weekend. Um, not here tomorrow, Saturday, but back again for church at 11 o'clock on Sunday morning. Please join me um, and all of us together for that as we worship together. And then back to Bible readings again on Monday morning at half nine. But until then, please take care and God bless.